the site-directed mutagenesis by PCR. So here we have the plasmid PMSH2 uh, for wild type P MSH2. Uh, we have the MSH2 here. Uh, so let's say we want to change the position at the 700. That's the position of 700. It was methionine. Uh, we want to change it to I solution. Uh, Sorry, it's probably 707, I forgot. Uh, anyhow, but so how do, let's say just it's 700. If we want to change this to, uh, 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 from methionine to isoleucine, what we can do is to introduce to oligonucleotide a primer here. And in that primer, uh, we are going to uh, have a, a, a change, a, mu a mutation there. And basically, we are going to have a mutation there, and that mutation will change the position of 700 methionine into the isoleucine. So the isoleucine is where that mutation is. And originally, the red is the methionine. So, and then we will do a single round PCR first, and basically, uh, let me change the color back. So we're going to synthesize the, uh, the, the plasmid DNA like this using a high fidelity enzyme. And synthesize many times, doing PCR many times, then we will have a lot of this uh, uh, single strand plasmid DNA. And all this, all this DNA is going to have a, a, a mutation there. Uh, let's say we have mutation there, mutation there, mutation there. And then we're also going to have the the wild type uh, pl background plasmid also there. Now, the wild type is going to a, a double, it's a double helix strain. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, it's a helix, double helix. And the mutant one is a single strand plasmid. So, so the, the one way is to remove the remove the double helix plasmid by uh, 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 some kind of enzyme. We can remove all this uh, from the solution, and then what's remaining is the the single strand plasmid with the the isoleucine mutation. And then we can uh, find out uh, another primer. Uh, in this, let's use a different color here. Let's use a uh, uh, say yellow. And so then we we can just use another uh, uh, a reverse uh, a reverse primer and synthesize the remaining part. So. And then we'll have the mutant plasmid. We, it's, and we can call that a P, MSH2, uh, say, methionine seven o hundred I. Actually, I, I think it's seven o seven I. But that's the here's the principle. Okay, I hope it's helpful.